was Jesus based on the Greek god Attis? It has been alleged Jesus never existed and was just a myth based on pagan gods like Attis. Mysticists claim Attis was born on December 25th of the Virgin Nana. He was called a savior and slain for the salvation of mankind. His body was represented by bread and eaten. He was both a divine son and father. On Black Friday, he was crucified on a tree from which his blood ran down to redeem the earth. He was resurrected on March 25th. His grave was found empty. His followers had a ceremony called Tarabulium, where they were considered born again. So do we have clear parallels which show Christians stole these beliefs from the Addis cult? Well, like the other alleged parallels, this is all nonsense. First, I can find no reference to Addis being associated with December 25th, and I challenge any mysticist to offer evidence of it from a pre-Christian era. He was also not born of a virgin. According to the myth, Zeus dropped some of his seed on a mountain that looked like the goddess Rhea, and from that arose a wild demonic creature called Agdistus. The other gods found him annoying, so while he slept, Dionysus tied a rope around his genitals and frightened him to wake him up. In a panic, he castrated himself. From the blood, a tree sprang up and later on the goddess Nana came by to pick some of the fruit. She then set it in her lap, it disappeared, and she later became pregnant with Addis. If this has anything to do with the conception of Jesus, then someone please explain it to me. How this connects to the virgin birth of Christ through Mary is beyond me. The scholars Femini Gasparo and Maria Lancelotti can find no explicit statement from a pre-Christian era where Addis was ever called savior or slain for mankind. Mysticists have once again made something up. Frake and Gandhi seem to be the first to assert this next one. They are correct there is evidence members of the Addis cult ritually ate and drank something, specifically out of symbols. But then they make the conjecture that it was most likely bread and wine. They do this with no evidence whatsoever. Scholar M.J. Vermacern notes wine and bread were forbidden during Addis festivals and suggests it could have been milk. So there is no evidence this is even true. Jesus is not the Divine Father, and the title Divine Son was never applied to Addis in a pre-Christian era. Of course, he was a son, but just about all pagan gods were sons. So what? I can find no evidence Addis was ever crucified. In some versions he died under a tree, not on one and there is no evidence it happened on Friday. He did shed blood when he made himself into a eunuch, but according to the legends, the blood only created flowers. As you could have guessed, there is no evidence Addis was ever physically resurrected, and there are different legends for how he lived and died. In one legend, the goddess Sybil falls in love with him and kills the nymph he loves. Addis goes insane, emasculates himself, flowers grow from the blood, and he turns into a pine tree. In another legend, Agdistus shows up at his wedding, drives the guests crazy, the bride dies, then Addis goes and emasculates himself under a pine tree and dies. Agdistus asks Zeus to bring him back to life, but all that Zeus does is prevent his body from decay, allows his hair and nails to continue to grow, and his little finger moves continuously. There are other versions as well, but none of the versions from a pre-Christian era ever mention a resurrection, let alone on March 25th. This last one is true, but it cannot be dated to a pre-Christian era. In fact, a lot of these things were actually true in the Addis cult, but they did not come into existence until Addis worshippers decided to copy Christians. Gasparo notes the Addis cult evolved in response to Christianity. A.T. Fear notes the Addis cult modified itself, provoked by need to respond to the challenge from Christianity. Just about every scholar I can find on the issue notes it was the Addis cult that borrowed from Christians. And mysticists would know this if they did actual research instead of looking for parallels wherever they may be or making up parallels. So since that is the case, there is no evidence Jesus was just a myth based on Addis.